Hi everyone, I'm Steph from Haru Apps. Welcome to my tutorial. And this week is a bit different. I'm going to talk about um, a solution rather than a program. It's a uh, it's a solution for your need for all your needs for online photo sharing. And uh, what's so great about this program is you upload all your photos online and you set a username and a password uh, if, if you want to be able to access your photos you can leave it public you can password protect it uh, you create users so different users can have access to different you know sets of photos and uh, what's so great about this is it it not only you're uploading all your photos online but it creates a backup of your file so if it is actually you have a, a crash or a flood or whatever happens to your computer at home uh, well, you have a backup. You can start from fresh and you got all your photos. You don't lose everything. So this is really, really nice. Now, a um, couple of things I want to mention before I go on. Uh, in order to do this, you need a couple of things. Uh, number one, I would say, is a little bit of knowledge and patience because um, if you don't have computer knowledge, or I would say knowledge to, like, dealing with server and uh, database and stuff, it'll be a little bit complicated. Uh, not impossible. I mean, there's documentation. There's I'm sure you can go easily through, you know, the whole process. Um, but it helps if you have a little bit of knowledge or someone, you know, grab someone you know that has a little bit of knowledge and, and you can do this. Secondly, you need a, a hosting company. I'm using GoDaddy. There are a lot of hosting companies out there. You can use whichever you want. Just ensure that they're, they have support for MySQL, that they will give you a MySQL. That's important. And uh, obviously, you will need to create a MySQL uh, on your hosting. Uh, so you're going to go and create a new database like, that you would call it, say, uh, PeeWeeGo. And uh, you would put the username and password and the address for that database. And then you would set... Actually, let me just show you. There you go. Um, you would set the password and then everything else for the uh, specific database. And then in the screen a little below here, it's the admin configuration. So it would actually uh, be your credentials to get on your website. Uh, fairly simple. Once you've got that, you just uh, start the installation and it will uh, it will actually copy your stuff right onto it. Um, now the address of your website uh, will be whatever path you decided to put the uh, you know the file in. Let's say you've got uh, it's in the root, um, and then you've just got a folder. Well, it would be uh, that whatever your address dash uh, p we go, and then you would get right to this page. Um, so let me just show you quickly. Um, now this is a theme. Um, you can change. You know the themes are are. There are thousands of them, and um, here on the left are the different albums. Now, if you um, obviously, if you see the pictures, means they're public. If you would not, uh, if you set a certain album to be private, um, you you won't see it uh, unless you log on to that. You know, at the bottom here, there's a login. If I log in and I'm like an authorized user, I, all the the, uh, the 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 albums. Uh, will be displayed. So this is really neat. Uh, I really, really, really love this. A little bit of um, you're gonna have to play a little bit with the uh, settings for the users. Um, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, I'm not gonna get into details on how to set all the users, and and, and you're gonna have, I'm gonna let you play with that. And uh, but you create a user, you set permissions, uh, you create groups, you set permissions. And for me, like, it's just for my family, so I don't really care. So I'm, you know, I've got a couple of, I, I set everybody's as admin, and the only thing I actually dis disallow to the uh, other users is deleting, because you don't want, obviously, uh, for obvious reasons, right? And, um, no, I mean, that's really, really cool uh, program. I'm really glad I found this, and uh, I wish you, uh, actually, you try this, and you will, you will be blown away. It, it's quick, and... Uh, Oh, one more thing that I really like is this has a, a mobile uh, app for the Android where you can upload photos to the gallery. So you can uh, just click, uh, you put your credentials, and then you, you pick the photos from your phone, and you upload them right on the on the website, and it'll go in its own folder. Um, I, that's a really, really neat feature. 
and if you want to view the photos, um, you obviously you can do it from any smartphone. Um, just logging on to the uh, your website, and the mobile version will be uh, by default, so it's a lot easier to to navigate through the, your, your your smartphone in the mobile version, and then you can view all your photos. And uh, this is really neat. I hope you actually enjoy this tutorial. And uh, if you want actually more tutorials and uh, free programs, visit my website at www.haruapps.com. And thank you very much for watching.